So this is the Boss RC3 with the Boss FS6 foot switch. This one requires a 9 volt battery and you've got to have a stereo cable plugged in. Into the center, you got to make sure you check the manual to see what the polarity needs to be set at on either side. We can plug a cable into either side if we just want to use the B or the A switch, but I'm going to be showing you both on this one, because why not? And that plugs into your stop memory shift switch on the RC3. So the FS6 allows us to switch between our saved loops and to stop and delete with greater ease. So instead of having to hit this twice, we can just hit our B uh, switch once. And that's my favorite function altogether. So I've just got a save freeze on here to make it easier. I can do that, which always throws me off having to hit it twice because I want to stop and start it on a beat and having to go one and is really tough or one E on that is really tough. So I can stop and just, it's dead just like that if I want to have it killed. Okay, I can also use it if I'm going to, if I made a mistake and I want to delete a phrase, right? So I'm going to start, I'm going to start recording. You can see I've got a dub in there. Also take a, a saved phrase and I can use the A switch to switch from one to another, right? So I'll start it like normal. Okay, I'm gonna hit the A switch now. At the end of this phrase, it's going to go to track 19. You want to make sure here's the lined up a little bit nicer than that, but that's how it works, right? So again, I can stop that with that function or with my B.